The number one ability of all successful people is their ability to take risks. And risk-taking is something that can be developed if we cultivate the only virtue that cannot be faked, courage. By the end of this video, you're going to have a clear understanding of what is courage, why it matters, and what's the mindset that makes successful people successful. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, Leon Castillo here, CEO and founder of Submaster, which is a company that specializes in peak cognitive performance for entrepreneurs and business leaders. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because we release a few videos every week to help entrepreneurs and professionals master their personal performance so they can crush it on their businesses and careers. In fact, our clients call us their secret weapon. Now, today I want to discuss something that to me is absolutely crucial and is the need of cultivating courage. Courage can be defined as the willingness to sacrifice your well-being in order to protect or enhance something that is one layer above of who you are, what you do. Let's say you sacrifice for your family, for your community, for your business, for your country. That is courage. It's actually stepping outside of your comfort zone in order to conquer something that you yet don't have. It can be conquer fear, it can be conquer something actually tangible and physical. The problem with courage is that it doesn't come easy, nor it is free. It needs to be cultivated against all odds, which implies that not all mindsets actually create courage. You need to have a very specific type of mindset if you want to become courageous and eventually grow into a top performer and a successful individual. In order to talk about mindset, we first need to think about how all systems work. If you think about it, all systems can be divided into those that are fragile, those that are robust, and those that are anti-fragile. So <clears throat> the first type of systems is fragile systems, are those systems that cannot withstand change. That whenever anything happens, that is outside of the normal functioning of that system, it can be from outside or from within, that system breaks and collapses, right? Because there's just no way of making it work. And this is true for organization, for people, for objects. It's like the proverbial shattering a glass if it falls into the floor. There's no way that a glass of water can withstand the pressure that comes from falling to the ground. And the same can be said of people that have a fragile mindset. Fragile mindset is that mindset that doesn't allow new ideas to permeate. So anything new and something maybe that is unknown represents a threat. And if a new piece of information challenges their own core ideas, they become paralyzed because they're unable to resolve that cognitive dissonance that comes from learning that maybe their beliefs don't work. The worst type of mindset that you could cultivate is a fragile mindset, what positive psychologists like Carl Dweck call a fixed mindset, a mindset that does not withstand change. Now, the second type of systems are robust systems, those systems that are able to sustain damage, they are able to sustain change. This is like proverbial phoenix, right? Phoenix, the mythological bird that every time it died, it just re was renewed and reborn from the ashes. So change didn't affect the phoenix. And this is what a Buddhist and a Stoic uh, cultivated, right? Uh, this passionate view on life so that no matter what happens to you, you're always calm and collected in the middle of the storm. And this is of course a much better proposition than being fragile because nothing actually faces you. The problem is that if you want to win in business, this is not enough because being able to not get destroyed by change is a worse proposition than actually becoming better every time something changes. And this is what we call an anti-fragile system. And this can be an idea like the Hydra. Remember the mythological creature that every time Theseus uh, slid one of its heads, two heads appear, right? So every time something bad happened to that monster, it will grow stronger. <clears throat> and this is the same idea that you need to cultivate in your life. You need to be able to look at everything that happens to you, everything that comes your way, like 
Anidra will look at an enemy like, okay, how is this going to make me better? What's the best angle that I can think of so that whatever it is that I learn from this experience, no matter how painful it may be, I become better. And this is the reason why the highest achievers are anti-fragile and are really good risk takers because they know that no matter the risk they take, provided they don't die in the process or the business doesn't die in the process, it's going to make them better, right? So keep this mental model in mind. The best virtue to cultivate is the one that cannot be faked, which is courage. And courage allows for risk taking, which is the number one success factor. But this can only happen if you cultivate the mindset that everything that happens to you is for you, is to your own benefit. Because no matter how hard or painful the lesson may be, you are going to use it to find different angles and different strategies that actually complement the one you were using up to that point. Cultivate the belief that you're anti-fragile, that you're inevitable, and you will certainly become inevitable. Of course, you need to have some sort of system that actually helps you understand what were the decisions you were taking before, the new decision you're going to take, and track the results. And this is what we provide our clients within the Semas Evolution program. If you want a proven framework for how to do this and eventually become a top performer by mastering courage, mastering anti-fragility mindset, and mastering risk-taking, book a call with us and see if we can help you. Hopefully this was useful. Please let me know in the comments if it was. What do you want me to cover in future videos? And of course, like, subscribe, and do everything you guys know you need to do so that we're able to grow this channel and help more people like you. Thank you very much.